In the hushed embrace of a darkened theater, time stands still as the screen comes alive with stories that etch themselves into the tapestry of our memories. Picture this, the year is 1979, a time of vibrant rebellion and pulsating energy. And there you are, sitting on the edge of your seat, eyes locked onto the unfolding tale of urban turmoil and camaraderie. It's the enigmatic world of the warriors that envelopes you, a gritty realm where every alleyway holds secrets and every heartbeat echoes the rhythm of survival. As the flickering frames draw you in, you're transported into a labyrinthine New York City, overrun by rival gangs and simmering with tension. You follow the eponymous gang, the Warriors, on a perilous journey that transcends the silver screen and stirs something within you. It's more than just a movie, it's an experience that tugs at the strings of your emotions, daring you to reflect on your own encounters with camaraderie, loyalty, and the ever-present quest for identity. And then it happens, that unforgettable moment that seizes your breath and ignites your senses. It might be the warrior's iconic rallying cry, the electric charge of their vibrant vests against the city's dark backdrop, or the pulse-pounding soundtrack that reverberates in your chest. It's a moment you can't shake, a memory you revisit time and time again. But as the lights come up and reality filters back in, you're left craving more. You yearn for those behind-the-scenes glimpses, those obscure tidbits that unravel the magic woven by the cast and crew. Well, fear not, for here's where the journey takes another turn. Let's dive into some random facts about the movie, those hidden gems that add depth to your newfound appreciation. Picture this as the opening credits roll once again, insights into the auditions that birthed the characters, the challenges faced during filming that birthed camaraderie amongst the cast, and the cultural impact that rippled through generations. Each factoid is a treasure, a fragment of the puzzle that completes the larger picture of the warriors. So, fellow traveler through time and celluloid, let's embark on this journey of discovery, uncovering the lesser known tales that shimmer beneath the surface. From inception to reception, every step is a revelation, a testament to the artistry that enriches our lives in ways we might never fully grasp. Remember, it's not just about the neon-lit nights and the neon-vested warriors. It's about the echoes of our own struggles, our own victories, that resonate within this cinematic masterpiece. And as we navigate these uncharted waters of knowledge, let's pay homage to the past while forging a connection with the present. Buckle up, dear traveler, for the road ahead is paved with facts as intriguing as the movie itself. Uncover, unfold, and delve deep into the lore that's been waiting to embrace you. The 1979 movie The Warriors, directed by Walter Hill, emerged from Saul Urich's novel of the same name, fusing street gang conflict with an epic journey through a dystopian New York City. The film centers on the eponymous gang, framed for a murder they didn't commit, as they navigate hostile territories to reach their Kenai Island turf. Each member, from charismatic swan to memorable villains like Luther, possesses a distinct identity, contributing to the film's enduring cult status. The movie's gritty visuals and evocative soundtrack complement its urban landscape, showcasing a unique style that captures the era's raw energy. The Warriors left an indelible mark on popular culture, inspiring video games, references in music, and homage in various media. Its portrayal of unity, survival, and the spirit of adventure continues to resonate, making it a timeless exploration of camaraderie in the face of adversity. Warriors, racing time to beat the Wanderers in a cinematic clash that echoed the territorial battles of its characters. The 1979 cult classic The Warriors raced against the clock to hit theaters ahead of its rival gang film, The Wanderers. Post-production maneuvers were orchestrated with military precision, employing not one, not two, but three editing teams working round the clock in separate editing suites. Their mission, to transform raw footage into a finished film that would capture the hearts of audiences before the summer breeze swept in the competition. While the Warriors roared onto the screen in February 1979, the Wanderers bided its time, only emerging in July. The strategic maneuver paid off, the Warriors enjoyed an early spotlight and cemented its place in cinematic history. The contrasting styles of these two movies laid bare the raw energy and primal conflicts of urban life, captivating audiences and carving out unique territories in the vast landscape of 1970s cinema. Fast forward to the realm of sports and entertainment, where the unexpected connection between the Warriors and basketball titan Shaquille O'Neal resides. Reportedly, O'Neal held a special place in his heart for the film, 
frequently invoking the memorable line from Cyrus, the charismatic gang leader, can you dig it? This phrase echoed through championship ceremonies, encapsulating the triumphant spirit of victory and dominance that resonated both in the world of sports and on the tumultuous streets of New York City. Yet, the journey of Michael Beck, the star who led the Warriors, took an unforeseen turn. His magnetic portrayal of Swan, the hardened and charismatic gang member, earned him a firm footing in Hollywood's spotlight. However, Destiny's script had an unexpected twist. Beck's subsequent leading role led him to the 1980 fantasy musical Zanadu, a venture that defied his tough guy image in every conceivable way. Teaming up with Olivia Newton-John, Beck's transformation into a gentler, more fantastical character marked a departure from the gritty streets of the Warriors. As the years rolled on, Beck reflected on his journey, acknowledging the doors that the Warriors had flung open for him in the film industry. Regrettably, Zanadu was not the follow-up he had anticipated, leaving a bittersweet aftertaste in his career trajectory. Although he continued to ply his craft in film and television, the leading man roles that once defined him became supporting characters in a new narrative. In the realm of cinema, The Warriors stands tall as a testament to the delicate interplay of timing and destiny. The film's race against the clock to beat its rival, its unexpected impact on a towering sports icon, and the divergent paths taken by its star remind us that within every story, there are twists and turns that could rival the most dramatic narratives brought to life on the silver screen. The Warriors, unveiling untold stories in the rugged urban landscape of 1,979 seconds The Warriors, tales of behind-the-scenes intrigue rival the on-screen action. Amidst the neon-lit nights and gritty subway platforms, director Walter Hill's original vision encountered roadblocks that would shape the cult classic we know today. Hill's desire for an all-black gang, mirroring the cultural tapestry of New York, clashed with producers who sought broader diversity. This creative tension birthed a multicultural warriors ensemble, reflecting the vibrant mosaic of the city. A similar clash of visions arose over the proposed subtitle, sometime in the future. Paramount's hesitation, fearing it echoed too closely to a galaxy far, far away, led to the iconic, timelessly cryptic introduction, These are the armies of the night. In the shadows of this urban odyssey, character fates teetered on the edge of alteration. Vermin, a gang member with a knack for comedic timing was initially scripted for a fatal encounter with the Liz's. However, Terry Mitchell's memorable portrayal injected unexpected humor into Vermin, altering his destiny and leaving audiences with enduring chuckles instead of mourning. Yet perhaps the most intriguing saga lies within the warrior's emblem emblazoned on their vests. According to a Hell's Angel member's revelation on the Howard Stern show, this symbol with deep resonance was born from a California prison. An incarcerated Hell's Angel, seeking rebellion even behind bars, crafted a motorcycle that graced the pages of a magazine. This emblem's adoption by the Warriors sparked fiery conflicts, as Hell's Angels staunchly defended their iconic insignia. Amidst the unending night, the Warriors emerges not just as a film, but as a testament to the crossroads of creativity and compromise. Hill's original vision, producer interventions, and the unexpected twists and character arcs combined to create a tapestry of gritty authenticity and unexpected camaraderie, forever etched into the annals of cinema. The Warrior's journey, both on and off screen, continues to captivate, a timeless testament to the enduring power of urban legends and artistic tenacity. Warriors roar with unique synthesized rock and roll score in a groundbreaking move. The 1979 cult classic The Warriors burst onto the scene with a trailblazing musical innovation. Composer Barry DeVorzon orchestrated history by crafting the first ever film score entirely composed of synthesized rock and roll music. This audacious auditory experiment set the film apart from its contemporaries, embedding the gritty urban landscape with a pulsating electronic heartbeat that echoed the edgy spirit of the New York City streets it depicted. While the film's closing song swayed away from this synthesized symphony, Dvorzan's daring musical direction resonated deeply, etching a distinctive auditory imprint into the minds of viewers. The fusion of synthetic rock and roll with the move is raw, kinetic energy forged an unforgettable cinematic experience that left an indelible mark on popular culture. Filming Unleashed, a nocturnal odyssey in a city that never sleeps, the Warriors cast its own spell by becoming the first film to be granted uninterrupted nocturnal filming. 
As the night shrouded the sprawling metropolis, director Walter Hill harnessed the cloak of darkness to create an atmospheric canvas. Allowing the cameras to roll unceasingly, the film captured an authentic nighttime aura that mirrored the neon-lit alleys and dimly lit corners the titular gang navigated. Under the cover of night, the cast and crew plunged into the heart of the city, weaving their tale amidst the echoing cacophony of the urban jungle. This unprecedented decision transformed the streets into a living set, allowing the narrative to seamlessly blend with the city's own rhythm, producing a cinematic experience that was as immersive as it was thrilling. Ajax, a casting evolution in the rugged tapestry of the Warriors, the character Ajax emerges as an iconic figure, embodying brute strength and brawn. However, the casting of this formidable gang member wasn't as straightforward, as it seems. Initially envisioned as a tall and muscular presence, character actor Erwin Keyes was a strong contender for the role. Yet, fate intervened as director Walter Hill shifted his gaze towards the wiry James Ramar, deeming Keyes too aged for the part. However, Keyes wasn't left in the shadows. Hill gave him a consolation prize, casting him as the NYPD officer who lands a blow on Ajax during a park sting operation. It was a curious twist of fate, as Keyes found himself apprehending the character he was once considered to embody. In a film replete with unique choices, the Warriors carved its legacy by challenging conventions and embracing the unexpected. Through its synthesized score, nocturnal filmmaking, and casting nuances, the movie emerged as an enduring testament to the era's audacious spirit and creative ingenuity. In the pulsating heart of 1970s New York City, the Warriors ignited a cinematic blaze that still burns brightly, reminding us of the boundless possibilities when boldness meets imagination. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the labyrinthine streets of New York City in 1979, where every step was a dance with danger and every encounter a test of unity, we invite you to take a moment to pause. The Warriors, a timeless tale of camaraderie and survival, lingers in the air like the city's electric pulse. It's not just a movie, it's a mirror reflecting the bonds we hold close, the battles we've fought within ourselves, and the unbreakable ties that define who we are. Have you ever felt the pulse of the subway reverberate within you, echoing the heartbeat of a gang's unwavering loyalty? Have you walked through your own metaphorical alleys, facing adversaries that push you to discover the depths of your strength and resilience? The Warriors isn't just a celluloid reverie, it's an invitation to delve into the essence of your own journey. So, as the flickering neon lights of the Warriors dim, we invite you to share your fragments of connection. What moments made your heart race in sync with the subway train's rhythm? Which characters left an indelible mark on your soul? How does the spirit of unity and survival resonate with your own story? We're eager to hear your whispers from the past, your echoes of inspiration drawn from this masterpiece. Thank you for accompanying us through the shadows and street corners of the warrior's world, a realm where alliances were forged and fates were sealed with every footfall. Your time and interest are cherished like the memories we've woven together. Until we embark on another journey through the tapestry of storytelling, Keep those memories close and let the spirit of the warriors guide you through your own midnight escapades.